us to the seventh episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2023 GCE Science Paper 1, which is Physics. If you are coming across this channel for the first time, consider subscribing so that every time I upload a new video, you get the notification. And if you find this video to be helpful, consider liking. By liking, you help my channel to improve its visibility on YouTube so that I'm able to reach as many as possible. So question B3 leads, figure B3.1 shows the direction of four forces acting on a car whose weight is in 800 newtons as it travels in a horizontal straight line. So we have this figure. Then question A, which two forces should be equal for the car to move at a constant velocity? And that's C, one mark. So for the car to move at a constant velocity, the driving force beam, so this is the driving force which is beam, must be equal to the resistive force which is D. So if these two are equal, then the car will move at the constant velocity. This is because when an object moves at a constant velocity, the net force acting on it is zero, meaning that the forces acting in opposite direction are balanced. If not, it's either the car will accelerate, that is if the driving force is greater than it, resistive force or decelerate the case where the resistive force is greater than the driving force. So, we we'll say the driving force, so that we are comprehensive driving force, which is B, should be equal to resistive force D. Once you do that, you get the one mark. Question B, the following table B3.1 shows sizes of forces acting on the same car after it had covered a certain distance. Taking gravity as 10 newton per kg, calculate the mass of the car. So we need to find the mass of the car. So to find the mass of the car, we use the formula. Force is equal to mass times gravity. So because we are given this is the case. So we are looking for mass. So mass is equal to force divided by gravity. So now we know mass, but we need to know the force. Since we are calculating the mass of the car, we can go back to the beginning. You notice that we are given the weight of the car, which is the force, the downward force, this force which is acting on the surface. So that's 800 newtons. So it's the one that we are going to use. But maybe someone is wondering what do we do with force A, which is the upward force. So the upward force A is the normal force. You notice that the upward force A and the downward force C are acting in the opposite direction. So this one is the weight of the car. Then force A is the normal force. So in this case, because the car is sitting on the flat horizontal, which is considered to be equilibrium, the normal force, which is the upward force will have no impact on the weight of the car because it cancels out. So this actual force for C is the weight of the car. You notice that in this case it has not changed, it has remained in the 8,000. So it's the one that we use. Hence, mass will equal to 8,000 divided by, so these are 8,000 newtons divided by 10 newtons per kg. So now this is the same as 8,000 newtons multiplied by kg over 10 newtons. So because we are dividing, then when we introduce multiplication, these two swap. So we, this one which was on top comes down, then this one goes up. Hence we are seeing that. 
so now with that one you notice that this one and this one cancels then we have 10 into 10 is a 110 into 8000 is 800 so 800 kg so the mass is 800 kg so 800 kg is the answer in this case lemma number 2 of beam resultant force we have driving force which is in this case if you notice here driving force is a beam then resistive force is d so what you need to do is to find the resultant force we are going to say resultant force we go to force d which is the driving force minus force d which is resistive force so if we go to b b is 1000 then d is 600 so what you do is we substitute 1000 newtons minus 600 newton so you're going to end up with 400 newtons so 400 newtons is the resultant force because the force which is pulling forward is greater so this is 1000 then this is which is pulling this direction is just 600 so overall we are going to have the 400 newtons which will be pulling in this direction because this one would overcome the 600 so that's the principle that we are using to find the resistant force so lemma numero 3 calculate the acceleration of the car remember we are still calculating so how do you find the acceleration of the car we use the force is equal to mass times acceleration so we're looking for acceleration so we divide by m we divide by m so meaning acceleration is equal to now force divided by mass we know what the resultant force because it's moving in the this direction according to the sh figure that we're given this is uh, we have this so this resultant force is 400 newton like you said then we've just calculated the, the mass to be the mass of the car to be 800 grams so now just a matter of substituting hence acceleration is equal to 400 newtons divided by 800 kg so acceleration now becomes that and that that and that is equal to 0 0.5 meters per second square this is acceleration so that's the value of acceleration once you do that you get these four marks and you're good to go so thank you for joining me in this episode please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel and if you find this video to be helpful consider liking and don't forget to join me in the next episode as we look at question b4